Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Wow, what a day yesterday about Bitcoin. Very interesting. Bitcoin, as you can see, has made it above this key resistance area. Bitcoin has also invalidated one or a few bearish um, wave counts, which is a good news for the bulls. And it shows that it's definitely worth tracking a bullish scenario that we started down here at 17 and a half K. Um, question is still, is this the more likely count? In my opinion, still we need to be careful and uh, we shouldn't get too bullish. Um, and someone asked me why and the reason for that is, as I said to you, there is still this huge structural resistance that, in my opinion, if we get above that one at 23.3k, it will just get l much, much less likely that we are still going to see another lower low, at least in the very, very near future. Um, we are now on the way here to the upside and so far it is following the bullish wave count quite accurately. So we start with that, then we take a look at the bearish count, but this has been invalidated. Just want to show you what has been invalidated and um, I'll show you a bearish alternative as well. But again, if you see one bearish one invalidated or a few bearish ones, then uh, the bullish ones get on the flip side more likely. Um, so what did we do from the low here at 17 and a half K? I told you this could have been the low possibility exists here. Still, we need to be focused on lower prices until we break these two levels. First level will make it more likely. Second level, much more likely that we are actually in a breakout here. Um, we need to be open at the moment to both scenarios. A reason is that uh, the downside targets for Bitcoin that are formulated like November, December have all been reached and that now we need to be on high alert for a move to the upside. Of course, if it is very early in the trend, I can't give you any certain answer. This is a possible turnaround space, so we need to be open to both positions. Yeah, For example, when we move down from 55 to, um, to below 28.6K, there was not really a bullish scenario. There was one, but I only gave it a 10 to 15% probability. So it was pretty much only the bearish one. Here now we have a bullish and a bearish scenario that will change. That will change if we establish ourselves at sort of higher levels. We see the evidence in the edit wave patterns and we see volume, then we can change this to the primary one. And then at some point the bearish one will get much less likely. Okay, so we are now here in this pattern one, yeah, we moved up from the low in a wave one in the first impulse to 21.7K, bounced off in an A, B, C. Down here, I told you on the 30th of June already that this could be a wave two low in purple here. And that um, to continue the uptrend, we should not fall below this low anymore. Um, we then could count a one, two. Yeah. So this was the view back then on the 3rd of July and consequently we expected a wave three to the upside in the bullish scenario. This sort of did happen. Um, we moved up here though in a one, two, one, two, one, two. So three, one, two, or four, one, twos, which again, I told you is either very bullish or at some point it's getting unrealistic. With four, I would say we've already reached like a, a sort of unrealistic stage, but we are still moving higher here. The problem is if you have too many one twos, you're selling into the rally of too many overlaps and it just at some point gets more likely that all of this is just a corrective pattern where you have a lot of overlaps, which would then result in another lower low. But for now, yeah, we've seen here a strong move to the upside indicating that this is indeed a wave three. If you're looking for a wave three, look for these strong moves. Yeah, and um, this is also what I told you yesterday that this could be a wave three. So we're following this path very nicely at the moment. Um, the target for this white wave three was, no, one sec. So we had two targets here, green, yeah, which is the higher level one. Maybe we do that first. From the high to the low. Here, 22K, that was the target for the green wave three, where we pretty much currently are, okay? 22K, I think we've reached that pretty much, pretty accurately. Um, this should always be the minimum target. Yeah, this is the minimum. So ideally you want Bitcoin and altcoins to move above the 1.618, but the 1.618 is fine. You know, it doesn't necessarily need to move higher. It would be more bullish if we go any higher. Then we had the target also for the white wave three here, which is a sub wave of the green one. 
target for that one was, and that's what I told you yesterday, here, um, 21.7k, pretty much the resistance area of the box, okay? And we reached that perfectly, we moved up actually to 21.8. 21 so again, both targets for both wave threes was reached. Um, I then told the Telegram members that we can now expect a wave four retracement. Now I gave them a target, but since then obviously the wave three moved a little bit higher, so, that, so the targets went up a little bit. Um, and what is actually very bullish, I think we did not retrace to the ideal targets, we only retraced to the absolute minimum what a wave four needs to do. And not did not even reach that quite quite uh, well enough. So, um, and this would be rather bullish, yeah. Um, so we reached in a way for not even the twenty one point five k level here, twenty three point six percent FIP level. So we did not even reach that. So this is rather bullish, yeah. Um, okay, but then we can assume that this was then the wave five. And this here was in fact the wave three. And from the top here, we are now in a wave four in green. Now we've, we've completed that white wave count, which is part of the green wave three here, which is now forming a wave four. Looking now at the retracements for the wave four, again, it's only probabilities, no certainties. Yeah, um, over here, you know, since I've been starting the channel, I've often seen Bitcoin retracing to these 38.2 to 50% FIP retracement levels. That is what you would normally expect. Um, the more bullish, the less the retracement, but that we don't even reach the 23.6 is rare. Uh, but can happen on those low, lower level wave counts, yeah. But here now looking at the wave four retracement, we should actually dip a little bit lower into the region between, um, yeah, here, let's go with the 23.6% because down here we didn't even reach it. So at 21.7K again, yeah, we should a bit higher, 21,767. We should at, re at least reach that in this wave four. Um, more likely would be the 21.4K level and it should not go below 21K. This is the 50% level. Um, it, in theory, it could, yeah, but it must stay above 20. 20,655k, that is here the wave one high. Uh, no, sorry, no, 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 no. It should, it must stay above 20.7k. This is the wave one high here in green. Now, if it if it retraces already more than 21k, it's probably not a wave four anymore, okay? And we might have another one too or something and we'll take a look at that. But we're looking now very clearly for a corrective pullback into the region between the 23.6% FIP level and the 50%. In my opinion, the higher is more likely at the moment. So between 21.7K and 21.4K is the ideal level. And it could even go down here in the 50% retracement to 21K. Anything below that would just make it very unlikely that it still is a wave four. So we're looking at this area here. First is, yeah, let's, let's go with that. Um, and then I might need to max it out to 21k. We'll see where we get to. Um, should we go further from here? It would be very bullish, I can tell you that. Yeah, we have not even closely reached the 23.6% FIP level here. So that's wave four, yeah. Um, and we're looking for corrective pullback, which means we're looking for something like either a triangle that might not dip that much or an ABC. A B, C, and then continue higher in the red wave um, three, which would be completed by completing green wave five. So in that wave three should take us then, yeah, probably here close to that, uh, to that box, yeah? So in the next wave up, ideally, we even wanna break this, yeah, this, um, 23 to 23.3k level, expect some resistance here. Again, good sign if we just blast through this resistance box in just one go, because it then indicates that, yeah, indeed we are here in the bullish scenario. Mm -hmm. So the more easy it is for a price to go through resistance and the less weakness we see, the more confidence we can get that we are not in a corrective wave pattern, but indeed in, an, in a real impulsive wave pattern. And that's currently here what we see here on this chart. And then we can take a quick look at the bearish count. You can see that this one has been invalidated. 
which is good news for the bulls, which means in this move up here, we moved above the beginning of that wave one with the wave four labeled. Yeah, we peaked above that. Um, that means in the bearish count, we have to move the wave four here. Um, and that this here was maybe a huge A, B, C pattern. Um, now, again, we need to observe how likely that is, but key resistance at 23.3K. If we get above that, I would say it is still very unlikely that this still is yellow wave four. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. We can identify here something like a huge bear flag. Yeah, be aware of that. So that is definitely something we need to be, need to be aware of. Um, a large one now. So absolute key level. Yeah, key level. If we can maintain the move above 21.9k, then we should break out of this to the upside. But it is something we cannot ignore. Bear flag. Have it on the radar. Yeah. Um, so the bearish count is still valid, even though I had to move shift wave four and it has become less likely but again as long as we still are below 23.3k um yeah we, we we still have to have on the radar to make a lower low uh and again would still be my prompt still be my primary expectation until we really go above 23.3k here you can also see why 23.3 is important because we would at the same time break out to the upside of the bear flag Okay, and that is my view about Bitcoin. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.